The first step in taking apart a hair dryer is to first screw off the back plate. Now that the back plate is unscrewed, you can now pull it apart. This may come with a little effort though since there is a snap-on piece up top. Now with the back cover off, you can see inside with all the electronics and the miniature motor. Though with this back plate, there is a cover on it that easily twists off. Now let's look at the actual hair dryer. Up top there's a motor cased in plastic. As you can see inside there's many switches and wires that control the motor of the hair dryer. First remove the spring for the button that turns off the heat. Now if you look down at the bottom you'll be able to see a holder for the wire that keeps it from sliding out of the hair dryer. This is also attached to switches that control the speed setting and whether or not the heating conductor is on. With the wire out you can now pull out each switch along with several of the components that attach it to the buttons you see on the outside. Now with the switches unattached from the handle you can easily pull out the motor along with the heating conductor from inside the casing. Now let's set the motor along with the heating coils aside and look at the casing. Here you can tell there's a blue button for hot and cold and then a selector that slides up and down for the speed of the fan. Now take a screwdriver and unscrew the selector for the speed of the fan. Now that you have this part unscrewed, the connector to the circuit and the handle switch on the outside are able to become disconnected. Also now you'll be able to tell that these gray pieces on the handle are for aesthetics and easily slide out. Also now if you look at this blue piece you'll be able to tell it's a snap in piece and with a little bit of effort you'll be able to push it out. Also, you'll be able to unwrap the insulator around the conductor that is used to heat the air that dries your hair off. Now, if you look close at the conducting material, you can tell that it is not permanently attached and is able to stay together easily while in its casing. Also not shown earlier was that the insulator easily slips over the conducting materials around the motor. In order to reassemble this hair dryer, first you're going to need to take the front cover and then put in all the buttons that you'd earlier taken out. Now, with all the buttons reattached, take the insulator that wraps around the conductor, make sure it's tight around the conductor, and then put it back into the front casing of the hair dryer.
Now you'll want to take the selector switch that attaches to the heating button and put it in with the prong side down. This allows you to attach it to the selector switch that easily slides into its housing inside the front case. Now the rear selector switch is also able to slide into its housing and attach itself into its selector switch that now controls the speed of the fan. With both switches in their housing, now you're able to slide its electric cord into its holder that keeps all the switches from sliding out of the housing. Now with the motor in place, it's easy to put in the aesthetic gray pieces along the sides of the motor. With all the internal parts in place, now you're able to screw in the back plating for the hair dryer. But don't forget to put in the selector spring that allows you to turn the air from hot to cold. While you screw in the back plating, the snap-on part at the top of the casing will snap itself into place. Now with the back cover all screwed on, you can easily slide and turn on the back covering and be done with reassembling the hair dryer.